Wheels on the bus goes round and round, round and round, round and round because the shape of these wheels are round. And we can't imagine any vehicle that is moving on the road without these round shaped wheels. So, dear guys, wheels are the most basic example of round shaped object. If I say it that can you give me some more example about round shape object? Yes, you can give me easily by observing in your daily life. Just like button that stuck in our coat are round, and a coin that we used in in transaction in our daily life are round, and chapati that we take in our daily meal are round, and these all things are uh, round, and uh, we can give some many more example of round shape object. If I say that round shape object are also called circular shape object, yes, you can say. But do you know that there is a little bit difference between these two term, round and circle. If I am, I don't know about the point of center, then that shape is called round shape. If I know where is the point of center, then that shape is definitely called a circle. Next thing is to shape. To differentiate these two terms is the shape itself. Here I have given some example of round shape object, just like button and uh, uh, chapati coin. Uh, actually, these are three D in shape because these have some width. So here, these all objects are called cylindrical in shape. Okay, here I have talking about round. So round is the front face of that object. So here we can say that these objects are 3D, 3D object, 3D in shape. And if I am talking about circle, then circle is a 2D shape. It is always a 2D shape that can only be drawn at a plane surface. I hope you have cleared your uh, all confusion about round and circle. So many question may arises in our mind, just like. What is the circle definition of circle and what is the center point of center? Okay, so to know these all terms, you have to go towards my video. So here, welcome back to my channel Mathematics Magic. And in this video, we are going to learn about the chapter circle that is taken from class 9th. So let's start without wasting any more time. So dear friends, our chapter name is circle. So here I want to give you... Uh, some uh, some introduction about circle as I have already told you that circle is a 2d shape that can only be drawn at a plane surface okay so here to know the exact definition of circle and geometric definition of circle you have to go towards your earlier classes in our earlier classes I hope we all have used a compass in our drawing classes and in our drawing classes by using a compass we have to fix one end of a compass next and the step is that you, we have to rotate next end of the circle uh, compass around the first end then what will we get we will get a closed curve okay that closed curve is called a circle and the point at which we have fixed one end that's called the center of that circle okay so now to know the definition just do some activity here just see here i have drawn a circle with the point of center point of center is a o point okay and let's take a point at the circle that is a point okay suppose this a point goes to point b and this point B goes to point C and point C goes to point D and point D goes to point E. Okay. And point E goes to point A. Okay. Now, uh, let's check the distance from point O to point A and point O to point B, point O to point C. And after doing this, act, after doing this activity, we will get that the distance from the point of center to the point at the circle are same. All points of the circle are same. Okay. So, here we can see that it is a locus of point. Locus, why I have calling it locus? Because locus is called path. 
so point a goes to point b point b goes to point c so here we can say that it is a locus of point which have the same distance from point of center and okay. in another word we can say that circle is a collection of point which have the same distance from its point of center so i'm sure that you have cleared the definition of circle so let's move towards some more terms uh, that is related to circle so first is the part circle divides the surface or plane in three parts okay that is interior parts exterior part and the on surface so guys internal part of the circle is called interior and uh, the external part from the circle is called exterior part and the circle at the edge of the circle is called on the circle in interior part of the circle there are many terms that we have to study in this chapter first is radius basically we have uh, already discussed about the distance between the center and the point at the circles so this distance is called radius and uh, this radius is denoted by r okay so here we can say that distance from the point of center to the point at the circle is called radius basically we know that the circle is a collection of points so there may be many points at the edge of the circle so here at at each and every point the distance will be same this distance will be same so here we can say that the circle has its same radius at each and every point at the circle now next term is called let's take two points p and q at the circle after joining these two points we'll get a line segment that is a chord okay and this chord divides the circle into two parts major part and minor part the major part is called major segment and minor part is called minor segment so we can say that a chord of a circle divides the circle into two uh, two segments that is major segment and minor segment and we know that circle is a collection of infinite points and these uh, after joining these infinite points we will get infinite chords and these all chords are different in length in comparison of each other and in some position we will get the chord passing through the point of center these the chord that passing through the point of center are called diameter of the circle basically diameter is also called the twice of radius because it passes through the point of center and radius is also a line segment from point of center to the point on the circle so here we can say that diameter is also a chord but all chords are not called a diameter so now let's talk about next term that is radii till now i have talked about radius now i'm i will talk about radii radii is a pair of two radius that divide the circle into sector and the pair of these two radius make an angle at the center of circle also and these sector are also major sector and minor sector now let's talk about arc arc is the piece of circle that is divided by two points at the circle okay so here let's take two p and q these two points divide the circle into two pieces that's called arc so here we can say pq is a arc and this arc is a minor arc and this arc is a major arc okay and friends one thing one more thing to tell you that we have talked about chord, chord. that chord is the line segment that divides the circle into two segments so here as well as l i have told you about diameter diameter is the longest chord of the circle okay and it passes through the point of center so here the uh, when we draw a diameter into a circle then it also divide the circle into two parts that parts are called semicircle because these are equal two parts 
डायमीटर डिवाइड द सर्कल इंटू टू इक्वल पार्ट्स डेट पार्ट्स आर कॉल्ड सेमी सर्कल ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग एंड द मेजरमेंट ऑफ आर्क क्रिएटेड बाई दीज टू पॉइंट्स आर ऑल्सो इक्वल सो डियर स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज कैन बी इजीली सॉल्व बाय यूजिंग दिस ऑल कंसेप्ट एंड आई होप यू हैड क्लियर्ड योर ऑल कंसेप्ट अबाउट सर्कल सो प्लीज सॉल्व द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज ऑफ योर चैप्टर एंड इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी एनी कंफ्यूजन प्लीज ड्रॉप योर कमेंट इन माई कमेंट बॉक्स एंड इफ इफ दिस वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब इट इट एंड लाइक इट so that you can uh, also watch my next video related to this chapter and related to maths topic so thanks for watching okay bye bye